Can you introduce yourself and tell us about your profession? Hi, um, my name is Michelle, Michelle Ibarra, and I am the head of the primary international section at um, Lycée Louis Massignon. Can you tell us about the SIB, the International British Section? The SIB program, or the BIS, the British International Section, it is, for the primary school, it is an extra 90 minutes, so two classes, um, per week, per level, for students to learn the British National Curriculum. So the curriculum that students learn in England, the students here at the school will also be learning. So science, literature, um, art, we'll, we'll be doing some history and geography, so it is a separate program, a separate class from the general English program, and it's basically a, an extra class so students feel like if they wanted to move abroad, they learn about uh, English history, English literature, so it's more English for students um, to learn in the subject specifically. What differentiates the learner program from the SIB? The normal English program is four sessions per week and it's two sessions of English language, so grammar and spelling, vocabulary, and then they'll also have social studies and Emil, which is co-teaching co with the French teacher. But the SIB program is an extra two classes, so they'll have six classes per week and it is focused on the British national curriculum, so history and literature, geography, things that they are not learning in the French curriculum and things that they're not learning in the, the general normal English curriculum or general normal, normal English program at the school. So it's extra English and it's more challenging. It's, it's a very good program for students who want to be challenged, who want some extra English, but also want to learn about a different culture. So is there any requirements to join the SIP? So yes, so starting from this year, um, which is next year is going to be the second year of the program, um, students, I will be testing students, I will be giving them oral examinations and also for like level well, three, uh, reading and a writing exam. And the reason being is because, because it's science and literature and history, they need to have a strong foundation in English, they need to have a baseline. So it will be generally for intermediate or advanced uh, English speakers. And they really have to have a strong interest in learning in English because we won't be doing as much vocabulary. It's not reinforcement of the language. It is subject based. So it is much more challenging than the traditional English program at the school. What obstacles the students might have to face? Um, so some of the obstacles that we encountered this year were cultural, I would say. Um, I think some of the students were comparing uh, British culture, English culture to French culture or Arab culture. And so what was nice about the program is that how surprised they were to learn that this existed, that this happened. Um, for example, I mean, England has a very long history. So we learned about things that happened five or 600 years ago about kings and queens and things that they were, they didn't, you know, they had no idea about it. So I think that was not necessarily a difficulty, but one of the challenges was really getting the students to think of the program, think of the history and the culture of England as, as a very different one and, and relating it to their personal life. Who would you recommend to join the program? So it is open to all students. Um, there are only 40 spots, so at 4-0, there's, there's not many spots per level, but I, this year we had many, many applicants. Uh, it was really great to uh, meet so many new applicants and give them the tasks and see if they had the, the, the level, the English level. Um, but I, I want to see uh, students from, from all parts all over the world um, because they are learning about a new culture. They're learning uh, about a curriculum that um, is not generally at the school. So it is an extra curriculum outside of the French curriculum. So that's really nice. So it definitely I, I want all students from all walks of life to apply. Um, even if their level of English is lower, um, it's just nice to to interact with them and to see and also to tell the students about the program because if if we don't have space this year there's always next year so I definitely hope that more and more students um, 
find it interesting to join and want to continue in it. Because right now we have, you know, an 80% return rate, which is really great. So um, I hope to see more students and hopefully one day the program will grow and we'll be able to have more students per year as well, per level. So that, that's, the, that's the future and that's the goal.